Thanks for tuning in. This is Lone Conspirator. This video covers the ACE 3 mod medical updates from the 3.4.2.0 version of the mod. So let me start out by saying that I was having some issues with this update with regard to the medical interface working properly. I wasn't able to get the commands to work right and I'm not sure why. So what I did is added the MCC access rights module and I left admin access on. Let me ungroup it. And then I synchronized it to my player. You didn't have to do that because I'm going to come in as admin, but I just do that as a safety measure. That seemed to, to resolve the problem with being able to interact with the menus. So if you have a problem with that, um, you can add the MCC access rights module and that should clear it up. Now, when you have the, the mod set to advanced settings, Bandage types will now matter. Before it didn't really matter. It seemed that all bandages would bandage whatever. It's no longer the case. Now on this chart you can see the wound type along the top and the bandage type along this left side. And using the chart you can see that velocity wounds, for, for example, the best bandage to use would be the packing bandage. That'll take the fewest bandages to get that completely patched up. And then the basic field dressing would be the lowest, so it would take it would take more field dressing bandages to get the bleeding to stop for that wound. Now the quick clot type bandage, that's pretty high along all of them. But what's important about quick clot is it prevents wounds from reopening, or um, it causes the wound to take a, a longer time to reopen. So what I usually do is I'll apply at least one quick clot, and for let's say uh, velocity wounds for example, I'll apply a quick clot and then I'll finish bandaging with the packing or I'll alternate between the two until it's completely bandaged up and not bleeding. Then of course you're going to have to apply a PAK or a surgical kit to completely heal those wounds so they don't open. Um, but now the bandages do matter so when you do the diagnosis of the patient, and I'll show you that in a minute, uh, make sure you check the type of wound that you're treating so that you can apply the type of bandage. And I'll include a text of this chart down in the description below. So if you want to copy that, you can also find this chart in the ACE3 mod uh, wiki. Another slight change in regard to the bandaging is that tourniquets now take less time to apply than a bandage. So when you come up to somebody, you might want to... Um, apply tourniquets to all their limbs right away before you do anything else. It's just to stop all the bleeding that much sooner. And you'll be able to see on the lower part of the screen is the tourniquet being applied. You can see how much faster that is compared to the top, which is a regular bandage being applied to the patient. That's something I haven't covered in uh, any of my previous ACE 3 medical videos is the medical menu, which they've got working pretty nicely. Um, shows you instead of instead of the little picture up in the corner here now they have a, a, this whole menu and shows you the injured body parts if you click on the head that'll give you access to the um, triage history treatment said he's received I've already applied two tourniquets to him the diagnosis, which will let you check the pulse, blood pressure, and response. So if you check pulse, for example, that still will show up over here. It shows no heart rate. Um, bandaging, select the body part, I'll select his arm. Now I can apply one of the bandages that I happen to have in my inventory. If, you, if I didn't have um, tourniquets on my, in my supply, for example, this wouldn't show up in the menu. Medications, I have morphine and epinephrine in my kit right now, so those are the, the options I have. And if you select the part of the body you can't apply those to, the chest for example, you can't use it. So you make sure you pick an arm or a leg, and you'll be able to apply it. They have this uh, airway management that's not working yet, so that's, I'm assuming that's something that's coming down in a future update. Um, advanced treatments. Here I have give saline. Again, you have to have, do that in a limb. Uh, you can also also uh, give blood 
and uh, plasma. Uh, drag or carry. This just from the menu, I'm able to drag or carry the patient. And um, this last one is switch between the medical status of, of the person in front of you or yourself. I can switch to me now. See, there's no injuries at all because I'm uh, not hurt. So this menu makes it a, a nice, easy way of, of being able to treat the patient without having to go to each limb. Uh, if, if you want something a little more immersive, you, you might want to stay away from the menu. However, this does make it nice and easy that once you have this open, you don't have to worry about it. Like, for instance, if you're treating somebody who's standing up, sometimes the AI will move around and they're a little harder to treat. So this menu helps make that a little easier. Now, for the medical menu, what you have to do is you go to Modules and go to Ace Medical and medical menu settings and you simply set that to enabled disabled or vehicles only whichever you want to use click ok ungroup it from anything it tries to group to and that will enable the medical menu uh, in game and you access that using the control and the windows key now the last thing i want to cover is um, setting the medical class I don't think this is necessarily something that's new to this update. It's just something I haven't covered in previous videos. You may want a regular soldier, not a medic, to have medical skills. So you can go to your Ace Medical, Set Medic Class, and Is Medic Set to Regular Medic. Ungroup it. And I'm going to put a second module, the same, but I'm going to set that to Doctor Only and ungroup that. Now, this is just a regular rifleman, so that means that he can only do some basic first aid stuff, bandaging and maybe applying morphine. He can't give blood. He can't use a surgical kit, for example, the way I have it set up. However, if you have a scenario where you have special forces guys who are known to have training in advanced medical procedures, you may want to simulate that. So what you can do, click synchronize, you synchronize the medic class to the rifleman and you synchronize doctor class. Now he can be a medic or a doctor or if you just want him a medic and not a doctor you can just disconnect that or not put that one in. So that allows you to, clo to control the skill level of a non-medic unit. By default the medic units like the combat lifesaver and the uh, combat medic they're able to administer blood and uh, can do more than a standard soldier. So these modules allow any soldier on the field that you synchronize with these modules to also give uh, advanced first aid and medical treatment. So if you want to use a scenario where you want somebody else besides uh, the default medic to be able to treat people, then this is how you would do it. Now one thing I want to point out when you are setting a regular soldier to a medical class, when you use this module to set it to a regular medic, all it needs is to have this synchronized with the player or with that unit. Now, for the doctor class to work, it has to have a medic class module already synced to it. So for doctor to work, this one here, this one already has to be attached to it. So doctor won't work without medic. However, medic will work without doctor. So just keep that in mind. So if I were to disable this one here and disconnect it, he would just be a regular soldier. He wouldn't even recognize this module. So if you want to have the doctor class enabled, the medic class has to be enabled first. And you do that by making sure that both of those are synchronized to the, to the unit. All right, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Click that subscribe button really helps me out a lot. Also, give me a like if you liked the video or if, if you found it helpful. Down below in the description, I have some links to uh, my Facebook page. You can friend me there. I post updates and video releases on Facebook. Also, a link to my friend Woofer, who puts up some uh, videos on YouTube as well. So check him out. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Right,
them two fuckers into that truck and take them down to our HQ. They'll fucking oh. talk down there. Look at this, look at this one. So who sent this fellas? You keep your fucking mouth shut. You understand? You keep your fucking mouth shut. I hear any fucking talking here, I'll take your fucking kneecaps, you c***. No? Yep, I'm right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is your last chance, lads. You're gonna get a bullet in the fucking head here and into a shallow grave. What's it gonna be? Prime SPS candidate one. What about you, Yankee Doodle? Um, SPS candidate number two. What are you doing, Ken? Doing? Doing, yeah. Okay, line up. Right. Cock your weapons. Aim. Um, 